Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, we've been called out to a property that's having um, some issues with some outside lights. Um, and what it is basically is the uh, outside lights are tripping the RCD on the main board there. Not the best of boards, it's probably seen better days, but it's still doing its job, so it's okay. Um, the problem is, is when the outside lights are tripping, it, it's it's tripping the um, two pumps, which are also connected to the same RD, RCD, which is supplying the water to the house. Um, it's a nice property, actually. Uh, we have a property, look. which is good. But the main focus of the, and concern I've got is the, these, these are post lights. And these post lights, as you can see, they're damp, they're wobbly, and they're not in the best conditions. And we have one over here. Second one, that's the second one on the circuit. And we have one more, all the way down the bottom of the drive, which is here. Which is also very wobbly. What I imagine it is, is when it rains, the customer said when it rains, it's, it's basically letting um, the RCDs trip him. So what I imagine is, is water's coming through here, seeping in through the brickwork, getting into the electrics. Um, there's a whisker box there that was damp inside. I've took that off. That's on the back of the post. I've taken that off and basically it's, there's a sign of water damage in there which I'm, I'm pretty certain is the issue. So what I've done is isolated these three posts from this point here. Um, obviously they're off. And what we have is... How many more have we got? These lights here are still connected. We have grip lights, just cheap plastic things, but these are working also. I'm a good concerned about these uh, joint boxes there. Uh, we've got one down that side, one here, and one here. And these are all controlled, these are all on the same circuit. And these are all controlled by the same switch, which we have here, as you guys have seen in my last videos, the photo cells. Um, that's controlling the post lights and, and the brick lights down there. So what we've basically done is isolated the post lights and left the brick lights on. So I'm pretty confident that the brick lights are not the issue that's tripping the RCD, which is then in turn tripping the pumps. So I've left that on. And from the whisker box that I showed you, we've disconnected the circuit of the three lights that I think the issue is. So the customer's gonna keep an eye on it for us. Um, if it continues tripping, then obviously we know it's the brick lights. It's um, basically an elimination method because when we turned up today, nothing was tripping. We powered it all up and it was all okay. Um, and that's as far as we can go for now. All right, let's go in the house and see what other issues he has. Bye for now. Hi, we're at the house. I was just about to knock on the door and go in. And uh, my colleague pointed out to me that uh, there is an extension lead just lying here outside, out in the open to the elements, getting wet, nicely wet actually. And not only that, have we got one, two, three, but the fourth socket is another extension lead that is also plugged in. <laughs> That's outside with cables going here though. It look like Christmas lights or something, but really that is a big no-no. That's, that's that's DIY electric at your finest, guys. All right, bye for now. Hi, we're now in the property. Um, I get this a lot, so I just wanted to point it out for you guys. It's, it's one of these cases where 
Lights have gone wrong, as you can see. We've got a bathroom cabinet here. Um, there's lights, three lights underneath. One, two, three that have failed. And we've got lights at the top that have failed as well. But the thing is, is, is what they do, and I get this quite a lot, is they, they, they fit the lights, the cabling and the transformers, and then tile round. So obviously when these lights fail, there's no access and the customer's not willing to have um, all the nice decorative tiling pulled off and redone. But it only takes a little bit of common sense to have a, a little bit of an access and put the transformers in there or just bear in mind that in the future that they need to be replaced and serviced. So they're just like sealing them in for forever.